Jimmy crack corn and I don't care. Jimmy crack corn and I don't care. It's the Burr Live Show, produced and transcribed in Hollywood, featuring tonight's Songs of the Sea with the Dick Davis Quartet. Now, here comes America's mightiest ballad singer of record, screen, and radio, Phil Coe's friendly troubadour, Burr Live. of the good ship Philco, outbound from the port of Philadelphia with a goodly cargo and a shanghai crew from first mate Dick Davis down to able-bodied Fudkin. Every fathom of me is a seafaring man. I not only have a girl in every port, I have a girl under every roof in every port. In Amsterdam, there lived a maid, mark you well what I say. In Amsterdam, there lived a maid she was mistress of her trade. I'll go no more a roving with you, fair maid. A roving, a roving, since roving's been my rule. I and I'll go no more a roving with you, fair maid. Her eyes were blue, her cheeks were brown. Mark you well what I say. Her eyes were blue, her cheeks were brown. Her hair in ringlets hanging down. I'll go no more a roving with you. Fair maid, a roving, a roving, since roving's been my rule, I and I'll go no more a roving with you, fair maid. I took this maid out for a walk, mark you well what I say, I took this maid out for a walk, we had such a lovely talk, I'll go no more a roving with you, fair maid. A roving, a roving, since roving's been my rule, I and I'll go no more a roving with you. Fair maid. I put my hand upon her knee, mark you well what I say. I put my hand upon her knee, said she to me, you're getting too free. I'll go no more a roving with you, fair maid. A roving, a roving, since roving's been my rule, I and I'll go no more a roving with you, fair maid. I took her out and spent my pay, mark you well what I say. I took her out and spent my pay, and then that maiden just faded away. I'll go no more a roving with you, fair maid. A roving, a roving, since roving's been my rule, I and I'll go no more a roving with you, fair maid. Yes, sirree, I'm a seafaring man from way back. Why, my great, 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 I was going to say grandfather, but he died when he was a boy. My great, great, uh, great relative was a cabin boy on a man of war, the golden vanity, sailing for the good Queen Bess against the Spanish Armada. There was a ship that sailed all on the lowland sea. And the name of our ship was the golden vanity. And we feared she would be taken by the Spanish enemy As she sailed in the lowland, lowland low As she sailed in the lowland sea Then up stepped our cabin boy and boldly outspoke he And he said to our captain, what would you give to me If I would swim alongside of the Spanish enemy and sink her in the lowland, lowland low, and sink her in the lowland sea. Oh, I would give you silver, and I would give you gold, and my own fairest daughter, your bonny bride shall be, if you will swim alongside of the Spanish enemy, and sink her in the lowland, lowland low, and sink her 
in the lowland sea. Then the boy he made him ready, and overboard sprang he, and he swam alongside of the Spanish enemy, and with his brace and auger, in her sides he bored holes three, and he sunk her in the lowland, lowland low, and he sunk her in the lowland sea. Then quickly swam back to the cheering of the crew, but the captain would not heed him for his promise he did rue, and he scorned his poor entreatings when loudly he did sue, and he left him in the lowland, lowland low, and he left him in the lowland sea. Then quickly he swam around to the port side, and up unto his messmates full bitterly he cried, O oh, messmates, draw me up, for I'm drifting with the tide, and I'm sinking in the lowland, lowland, low, I'm sinking in the lowland sea. Then his messmates drew him up, but on the deck he died, and they stitched him in his hammock, which was so fair and wide and they lowered him overboard and he drifted with the tide and he sang in the lowland lowland low and he sang in the lowland sea Captain Ives with a mainsail halyard, time to the mast with a mainsail halyard, tie Captain Ives with a mainsail halyard, are I in the Why, what's the matter? Why, First Mate Davis, what is this I hear? Are you a spout mutiny? Aye, it's mutiny, Captain Ives. Who do you think you are, Charles Lawton, with a guitar? <laughs> well, now, boys, haven't I been a good captain? Aye. And haven't I fed you fresh electronic scratch eliminators with cream? Aye, aye. And haven't I tucked you into your berths with Philco portables at your side? Aye, aye, aye. But you sing of blue tails and of the wee cooper. But tell us, girl, has it helped your hooper? No, Captain Ives, of you we've had it up. Time with the halyard, men. We'll sing the folks our stuff. Yo! Of a jolly car, sing me a chanty with a yo heave ho, to roam the earth both near and far. Sing me a chanty with a yo heave ho, a full rigged ship and a spanking breeze to sail through all of the seven seas, and not come home till I darn well please. Sing me a chanty with a yo heave ho. I take my leave when the tide goes out. Sing me a chanty with a yo heave ho. Then ho for the ports that I've dreamed about. Sing me a chanty with a yo heave ho. I'd round the horn where wild winds fly, the beach at Waikiki I'd try. Then I'd set my sail for old Shanghai. Sing me a chanty with a yo heave ho. But when I think of the stormy wave, sing me a chanty with a yo heave ho. Where ships go down to a briny grave. Sing me a chanty with a yo heave ho. I'd rather be alive than dead. So I'll stay at home in bed. A downy pillow beneath my head. Sing. Chanty with a yo heave ho, yo heave ho, 
and the moral is leave well enough alone. Oh, sing me a chanty with a yo. Well, boys, you sure sing a fine chanty, even if you are refugees from a singing commercial. <laughs> well, mates, we've had our wild and carefree days, but there comes a time, as it must ever seafaring man, when there's only one port of call left to make, the one that my old shipmate Nick Kenny wrote about in his song called The Old Sailor. Down by the ocean I met an old sailor where are you going and why do you smile? I'm sailing tonight for a beautiful harbor. I'm on my last cruise, I'll be gone for a while. Where is your ship then, I asked the old sailor. It's anchored up there in the clouds, can't you see? Its masts are of gold and its sails are of silver. We'll sail with the tide and it's waiting for me. Where have you wandered, I asked the old sailor, across the blue ocean to countries untold. My ship has dropped anchor in all but one harbor, where sailors find peace when they're weary and old. Where are your loved ones, I asked the old sailor, They've gone on ahead to that beautiful shore When I anchor tonight in that heavenly harbor They'll welcome me home, I'll go sailing no more That's a fine ballad, Nick. It was a pleasure to sing it. Well, mates... I see that there's a pilot ship starboard to guide us into Philco Harbor. Ahoy, pilot. Well, Dick and boys, after all these sea songs, what have you got to say for yourselves? Uh, you can talk free now to your old captain. We have a confession to make, Burl. Burl, I've, Burl, I've, we've never been to sea. All the sea you've seen I see is just the key of sea. <laughs> quick, boys, quick, boys, let's batten down the hatch. We'll have no squawks aboard this ship. No hiss, no screech, no scratch. Go on, Dick, boys, go on, friends, I'll be seeing you. I'm just a wayfaring stranger. This is Bill Haworth inviting you to listen next week at this time for Philco's friendly troubadour, Burl Ives, whose weekly visit is produced and transcribed in Hollywood for your listening pleasure. Burl's guest will be the singing favorite of the Americas, Karina Mura. And come into our store and pick out a new Philco in time for Christmas giving. Uh,